I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. To be forgiven, what does it mean? That's the subject of the day's Higher Things Video Short. To be forgiven means to be justified before God. To be at peace with God. To have everything that separates you and God to be wiped away. To be forgiven means that God remembers your sins no more. He doesn't harbor anger anymore at you. He's at peace with you. He has nothing against you. He sees only his son. To be forgiven is to have the slate wiped clean. To be restored. To be, to be white as snow. Though your sins be like scarlet, I will make them as white as snow. You are forgiven only by the suffering and death of Jesus. You are, he achieved your salvation, your forgiveness on the cross, and he delivers that forgiveness to you in water, words, and in his body and blood given for you to eat and drink for the forgiveness of all your sins. To be forgiven is not the way we forgive. We forgive and then bring the thing up again. We forgive, but we never forget. We forgive those who are sorry. But those who aren't sorry, we don't really forgive. Um, to be forgiven by Jesus is, to, is to, for God to remember your sins no more. He forgives and he forgets. To be forgiven has, means that he will never bring up your sins anymore. He buries them in the tomb. They stay with they stay in the tomb, and Jesus rose from the dead, and you rose with them out of the tomb. To be forgiven is to be given heaven in the suffering and death of Jesus as a gift. And so with that forgiveness being given to us, how can we not forgive and love and care for and wipe the slate clean of others? And the answer to that is we can't. We're forgiven, so in that forgiveness we forgive others. We're at peace with God, so in that peace, we are at peace with others. He's wiped the slate clean, so we wipe other people's slates clean. But what if they're not sorry? What if, what if they're not uh, repentant? Well, you pray for forgiveness of all your sins in the Lord's Prayer, even the ones you don't know or haven't actively repented of. Seems to me you might have mercy on those around you who, who don't know yet, that they've sinned against you? What if they're not really sorry? Does God forgive us when we're not sorry? When we're not sorry, we reject his forgiveness. When we, when, we, when, when, we, when we don't need forgiveness, we don't need forgiveness. That's the answer to that. But we know we need forgiveness. And we know others need forgiveness too. And somewhat, sometimes the way to bring peace in a situation even when you're wronged, is to forgive and to repent of what you've done wrong in the situation. That Because the end of this is not being right. And the end of this is not being justified on our own. The end of this is to be forgiven. And to be forgiven means you and they are at peace with God in Jesus Christ. I'm Pastor George Barkard, and this has been a Higher Things video short.